Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about what are the things which you should learn before joining any companies. What are the points which you should make a note before getting into any company on your first day. We are going to discuss about those points. So let's get started. Point number one, if you are joining as a developer, then please remember or please learn some git command like how to clone a clone a project how to commit a project how to switch a branch in a project how to make the changes and push it to the right branch not the master i remember one incident while i was new into one project development project i was working on elastic search and different technologies then i switched to java and I remember the first day I, I got one user story, a little small changes I need to do. And I did it and I committed that into master branch and I broke a huge feature that day. And you know what? I faced a lot of scary faces that day. So just learn from my mistake. Uh, learn some git commands. Now let's talk about point number two. Email writing. Email writing is very, very important if you are landing up in a professional world. Again, there is an incident for this as well. I have shared one of my experience on email writing. What huge mistake I, well, I did while I was, I used to write an email. Because we as a fresher, we don't know some professional words, right? And I too, I didn't know like, how to write a professional emails and I did a lot of mistakes and that mistakes leads to some escalation to my manager. I've shared my that incident in one of my video. I'll provide you the link in the description box. You can go ahead and see. So if you want to know how to write a professional email, then let me know in the comment section. I can make a separate video on that. So email writing is very, very important. Learn few basic etiquettes, basic words, how to write a professional emails. Point number three, before proceeding to this video, I have an announcement for you. Those who are preparing for GATE and ESE, there's a special announcement for you. An Academy is going to launch a new batch for 2023 GATE and ESE preparation for CSIT on 13th of October. So if you are preparing for GATE and ESE, this is really a great opportunity for you guys. In this course, the top educator will cover all the topic of CSIT and will help you to prepare for GATE 2023. And this course will be covered in Hindi as well as in English. To know more about this course in detail, you can check out the link in the description box. Let me show you the subscription plan for this course. Click on the get subscription. Now you can check out. Now you can see the variation in the prices depending on the months of subscription. So if you are taking for 12 month subscription, that will cost you around 2,704 per month. And the total package is 32K. If you are using the coupon code TEL10, then you can get 10% discount. And you can see the huge difference from 32,450 to 29,205. Now you have to pay only 29,205 and per month, how much it will cost you? 2,434. So there's a quite variation in the price for all the month subscription. All links are there in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. Now let's come to the video. Always give commitment with one or two days extra to your task. Suppose as a fresh year, whenever you are given some task, it may require three hour or four hour. Always say two days. Always keep one day in your hand. Reason. Reason is, you know, whenever we are developing something, we may face environment issue. We may face something got broke or something got stuck and some maybe if you are working from home electricity is not there suppose and you are shortage of you you are facing shortage of power or you're facing some trouble or something happened right so just to avoid those situation so just keep 
uh, one day extra in your hand so in case of any situation at least you can deliver it in time in your commitment time so never you know commit anything never commit never give commitment to your manager to your authority for exact deadline suppose it it may require you know three hour or four hour working but always say like maybe two days if it is a critical task then take at least two days in your hand critical means suppose the development takes three days or four days then you can say five or six days so always keep one day extra in your hand just to avoid these kind of situation if you may get stuck into any situation right anything can come up anytime so just to avoid this situation any environment issue or any personal issue always keep one day in hand okay got it point number four be interactive with your teammates seek for help whenever you need suppose you are stuck somewhere you have dependency on somebody never wait for that person to come and help you and sort out your things nobody have nobody has time over here to help you out so you need to make that person uh, work for you if it is required so if you have a de dependency on somebody just go to them make it done because at the end of the day you are the one responsible for your story you are the one responsible for your development task if you haven't completed you cannot give excuse that this person didn't help that's why i couldn't complete it so give importance to this interaction give importance to interacting with the people don't be shy just seek for seek for help if it is required if you are stuck somewhere you are not getting how to do this go to someone ask for help hey i don't know how to do this could you please help me with this it's okay to ask for help as a fresher because as a fresher you can't be so much good and so much intelligent on everything right it's your learning phase so learn it and uh, make a note of whatever you are doing day to day got it whenever you are doing any mistakes whenever you have to follow some steps make a note of it if it requires but never don't be shy don't hesitate seek for help and always interact with your colleagues and make the work done at the right time point number five give importance to your work shout out even you have done a small thing it should be visible you should not under, uh, underestimate your work as a fresher even if you are assigned with a small feature if it if it is required shout out to that if it is required present it to your manager or to your leader if they are asking what you have done show it to them no work is small in the industry even if you are doing a small change or small thing anything you are doing that is a part of your work that is a part of a project got it so don't underestimate your work give importance to yourself believe in yourself and always come front to take ownership of something and make it done so hope this five point will help you guys to find to know well about the IT industry and the work culture. So hope this video was informative to you. If it was informative to you, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.